We begin working with our flight controller by taking the pin headers for the ESCs and simply dropping them into the pad. You'll notice if I turn sideways, the feet just stick right out a little bit. That's perfect. Turn the board around, keep your thumb on top of the pins so they don't fall out. If you look on this side, you'll see the buzzer right there indicated. And we made the pin headers for the buzzer. So we're going to take this and put that right in the pin header just like that. And again, the feet just stick out the bottom. The next thing I want to add is the Spectrum satellite connector, which goes right there. That is super simple. It just slides right in, and there you go. Now obviously we can't solder on this side, so I'd like to take some electrical tape and just put it across everything to hold it down. We're going to remove this after we solder. The solder will be holding everything in perfectly. We're not going to be holding the heat on so long that it's going to melt. And we don't want it like that. We want those pins exposed. Just give the tape enough pressure that it holds those pieces in nice and tight. At this point, there's two things I could do. If I have a silicon pad like this, I can solder right on top of that perfectly. Or you could bring in your helping hands. If we use our helping hands, we just turn things around and give it a clip where we need it. Try to clip only where the holes are for the screws, just like that. I like to angle it towards myself. Make sure you have a clean tip on your soldering iron. This is very fast work. Just apply the tip and just a little bit of heat. Boom, just like that. Just go right down the... Perfect. I know there's a lot of points, but this really will go fast. And make sure you do not, whatever you do, bridge those points. In fact, we're not even using a lot of these pins, but I'd like you to get the practice of soldering. And you see how very fast this is going. Be sure you clean the tip every now and then. Oh, missed that one. The solder should flow and it has affinity for those pads. Now if it's not flowing like that, be sure you clean your tip. And that should help. There you go. We have all those pins nice and well soldered. Great job. Let's continue now with the buzzer. Might want to give that a little squeeze, make sure it's in there good. And you can see this is just such fast work. And last, spectrum connector, make sure it's nice and tight in there. We're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. You've just wired up your whole flight controller. Wasn't that amazing? This is why I wanted to use the pin headers for your first project, because it is so fast and easy. And if we make any mistakes, it's easy to correct. Take the flight controller out of your helping hands. Take your tape off. We don't need that anymore. Look how beautiful and clean those pin headers are. Look how nice that is. If you'd like to clean up your board, you can take some alcohol and a cotton swab and simply just go over all the parts you just soldered and you'll find all the flux just comes right off. And you can see what a nice job you did. Now, you don't have to do this. This is an added step. It's completely up to you if you want to do this. And you can see how much nicer that looks already. All that shininess that was the flux 
is just disappearing. Make sure you have no residue of cotton fibers on the board when you're done. And I'll admit, I'm anal about my connections. I want to make sure I didn't cross anything. So I'll take my loop and I will take a look and see closely, have I made any bridges? Again, this is an optional step. If your eyes are younger than mine, you could probably see it with your naked eye. I'm a little older. I need some help. That looks perfect. Sometimes you have to turn it sideways to make sure that looks perfect. I do good work. I'm sure you do also. It doesn't take a lot of practice to get this perfect. Congratulations. Great job. We're ready to mount this flight controller on your quadcopter.